Hey guys, Destiny Tech Cuban here, back with another video. And today, we're going to be going over how to pair your Bluetooth keyboard and mouse to your iPhone and iOS 13. Let's get into it. Alright, so uh, first things first, to pair your uh, mouse and your keyboard to your phone, you're going to need a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse unless you want to buy a cord that attaches wired uh, mice um, and keyboards to your phone you're going to need to buy a lightning to a USB port but if you just want to uh, connect your Bluetooth devices uh, to your iPhone then it's actually pretty simple so if we uh, grab uh, the iPhone here and go into settings and scroll down you're going to need to go into accessibility and the first thing you're going to do is turn on assistive touch. Um, and as you can see, this little uh, square, little circle thing pop up um, that people normally use when their home button breaks. You get this little control center here. Um, but you're going to want to scroll down after that uh, and go into devices. And then Bluetooth devices. And as you can see, I don't have anything paired right now. But if we go ahead and turn on the uh, mouse and the uh, keyboard here um, with the LED indicators you can see that it's they're going into pairing mode and as you can see the devices it should just show up on your devices here uh, yeah Apple wireless keyboards so then you can just click connect Apple would like to pair with your iPhone and then you need to uh, tap that little pin there, uh, the 9008, so then you just type 9008, and then click enter, and the pair is successful. So now I can use my keyboard, um, and we're going to need to connect the mouse now. Alright, sorry guys, it took me a little while to uh, get this mouse to work. Um, and connected but it does work now and you should just easily be able to go into Bluetooth devices and then you see it pop up there um, and now it's showing here as one of my connected devices and if you can cl if you click on it you can actually change the buttons uh, so just the regular tap is just a single tap it'll just bring you back um, I have button 2 as the app switcher so um, if I click on this side here on the right side It'll bring up all of my recent apps used, um, and then I can scroll through them. And uh, yeah, you can change it to a whole bunch of different things. There's tons of different options that you can change um, it to, or you can change it to a custom additional button. With the Apple mouse, you only get two buttons, but if you have um, a very um, complex mouse with like buttons on the sides and a scroller that you can push down and stuff like that, uh, then you can add all those buttons to do different things. Um, but yeah, so if we go into uh, the Bear app here, I can show you um, that the um, the keyboard uh, works really well um, in typing something up. Now let's just bring it closer there. Um, so as you can see, it's really good. Um, works perfectly fine. Uh, and you can delete. Um, there's certain, um, there's only certain function keys that you can use. You can use the volume up and down button um, and the mute button. Uh, you can use the play and pause track, but the brightness and the app switcher, that stuff you can't use, unfortunately. Um, you can't use that on. Uh, your iPhone but yeah all right guys that is it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it please leave a like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video